everybody. I hope that you are all doing well and staying safe and healthy during this time. My name is Cassidy Kinsman, if we've never had the pleasure of meeting. I am a country music artist from Jacksonville, Florida, and I came on here to tell you all about an exciting project we have planned for this upcoming year. If you haven't heard the song Tin Roof by Chris Tomlin, it is phenomenal, and we are planning to do a cover music video shoot for that song. We've had so many people come up to us and tell us how much this song means, and it means a lot to us and our team, and we want to make something special for this song as well. We have a lot of expenses that come with shooting a music video. Um, we have to get equipment, get licensing. We want to pay the people who are spending their time to work on this project with us. We know that times have been difficult during this pandemic and we really want to give back to everyone in the music industry who's going to help us make this happen. Our plan is to shoot this video around November and that all depends on you and how much you're willing to give. Even if it's just your prayers, we're going to need a lot of them, so y'all send them on up to the Lord. <laughs> we are so excited to see this project happen. Um, thank you all again for donating and for helping us make this happen. Hope that you all have a wonderful day. You're watching Up Close on NW Photo Video on YouTube. I am Nathan Waters. We're here live in New York City for the 2017 Photo Plus Expo. My name is Mike Angel, I'm the show director of Photo Plus, and uh, I'm super pumped to be talking to you guys about our show. 2017, it's gonna be a great year. Um, it is Wednesday, the 25th, the show starts tomorrow, and we're in booth setup mode right now. You know, you can't pivot the camera to show the show floor, but I mean, we are knee deep in setting up this absolutely massive imaging show. I do want to just quickly talk about Photo Plus. It's the largest imaging show in the United States. Uh, we get usually about 20,000 attendees every single year. Best speakers in the industry are out here. Best vendors in the industry are out here showing their latest products and services. Photo Plus is just really, really special because, you know, anybody who is a creative professional that likes capturing moments in time using technology, they all converge on the Javits Center to kind of learn, um, network, and really like interact with our vendors to, to check out like their latest offering. Hi everybody, welcome to Rosie's Take. I am here on scene at Triple Canopy Ranch where Colt Ford is filming his show, Mud Slingers. He is filming right over here and uh, everybody's having a great time and I'm gonna show you some footage of how other people are getting down in the mud here at Triple Canopy Ranch. Shack on the edge of town That's where I'll be when the sun goes down Big money bird dog barking out back 
Wooden Train. Everybody the- here, we're here with Bush Hog. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good. All right, now you've been at it for a while, and now you're signed with RCA. Are you excited? Yes, we're very excited. We've got a single coming out in about eight weeks, so we're just uh, hitting the road and out here having a good time with y'all people, folks down here in Florida. Well, we're here now with Jerry Ham, who is a, I'm going to say, professional, because compared to me, you are absolutely a professional. You're a volunteer here with Sun and Fun, and you've been here for 17 years. Is that right? 17. That is incredible. So you really know what you're doing here with these props. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on and, and what the process is that goes into carving these props? Well, a propeller for an airplane, of course, is many different styles, uh, but for wood, uh, this is one really easy technique to uh, to use in carving Easy a for you or easy to the people who don't, it's like easy. me? Uh, it, everything's kind of relative. You know, once you, you kind of do a couple, it's uh, it gets easier, but uh, what this machine does is copy a shape and it makes uh, the propeller blades symmetrical on both sides. That's the big deal about uh, propeller ah. making, is making sure it's well balanced. So rather than do it by hand, this machine is really giving you the outline of what you need, the yeah. body of work. You can take a pattern or an original propeller and duplicate another one with this machine. So after you, well first you were telling me a little bit before we started recording how this is actually layers of wood, right. which I thought it was just going to be a block of wood, but I guess what, you, you glue it together and then you start the carving process? Yes, you, uh, you laminate, they call them laminations, and uh, some propellers out there have 40 or 50 laminations, but oh most gosh. of them, uh, maybe five to 10 laminations and what's, on most what's of them. What's here, is that three? There's a three on this three, one. Three, I see. So I'm thinking it's kind of like a, a cake, of la- layers of a cake, essentially, is what I'm thinking. Well, the laminations give it more strength more, okay. and flexibility because there are a lot of stresses acting on this propeller when it's spinning. I'm and sure, and you do not want your propeller to fail. Now, how long do you think from start to finish does it something like this and over there maybe something a little bit like that take? Well, of course, I've got to select the wood and glue it together, and that usually takes overnight for the glue to set. But once okay. you start putting it on this machine and get uh, semi-skilled with it, you can do it in about two hours. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And yeah. so here at Sun and Fun, you're doing this as a demonstration, really, so That's people right. can, can watch and maybe pick up some of your techniques, perhaps. Right. Yes. That is very cool. We're happy you're here doing this and showing people because I had no idea what goes into making a propeller. I didn't know that you had to glue it together. And, and really, I just see the finished product on a plane and never think too much of what goes on behind it. So it's very neat that people can see the whole process from start to finish. Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate it. Okay. Very cool. All right. Mr. Dewey Larson, who is the founder, the CEO, the brains, the vision be- behind Dream Big Entertainment. And he is the guy who basically brought this amazing plane here to Sun and Fun. And not only is he offering pictures with it, but you can put on the full gear, the helmet, the full experience, and Absolutely. take a picture that'll really last forever. That's it. And That's it. the memento from Sun and Fun. So tell me a little bit about how you had, like, how did this come to pass? Uh, Dream Big is a culmination of about a 38-year process. Um, when I was eight years old, I went to my first air show, and if, you know, you go to these large air shows, you can get in the cargo planes, in the helicopters, and but you can't touch the fighter jets; right. they're all closed. Well, as and a young every kid, young boy, they yeah, want to see the fighter. Absolutely, <laughs> and and so I told my dad then, it's okay, Dad, I'm not mad. I'm going to have my own someday, and I'm going to let everybody get in it. And it kind of became a family joke. And then uh, about five years ago, well, six years ago, I had an opportunity. To, to pick it up, um, and that's exactly what I did. We we got it, put it on the trailer, we're living our dream, and now we're sharing aviation with not just the young generation, but with the older generation. It's really a true story of entrepreneurship from Denver, Colorado, now yep. here in Lakeland, and you said not only do you do air shows, but you do work with hospitals as well. Absolutely. Um, um, the, the air shows are how we generate revenue to be able to do what we do. But the big thing for us, what's closest to my heart, is in between the air shows, when we're traveling from city to city during the weeks, we do school visits, hospital visits, and the idea is to give aviation back to those that may never have the opportunity to experience it. And then while we're there, maybe spark an interest that might you know, develop into something else down the road for those young kids. Of course. So in your opinion, just really quickly, 
how important is it for, for people who may not have any knowledge of, of these planes or even a passion to, to experience something like this and experience Sun and Fun in, in general? You know what, I, I tell you what, coming out to any event, Sun and Fun, um, local air shows, fly-ins, museums, that's history. Yeah. Every single one of those planes means something to our history, and it's dying off quick. Some of these planes that are flying now, you know, four or five years, they may not ever be able to fly again. Um, what, what happens to them is what happened to our plane. They, when they get old, they decommission these planes and they send them out to the boneyard where they rot in the desert sun, and then we try to save them. And that's exactly what we did with this. We saved it from the boneyard. They had already cut it and started stripping it. We got it, and we're like, no, 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 no more, we're gonna, it's a museum. Yeah. So that's exactly what we did. Our bird has history, yeah. and that's part of what we do. We share the history, not just climbing in. There's there's history. We want people to feel it, to smell it, to touch it. Well, that's it's, what they're getting amazing. to do. I mean, I can see the children, and I enjoy it. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, I don't know very much about planes, but I am going to make that my profile picture instantly. That is so <laughs> cool. Well, well thank, thank you, guys. you. It is so cool to see hey, you. Hey, thank you very much. Mr. Larson, we, we appreciate you here at Sun and Fun and inspiring people of all sorts of ages. Hey, well, thank you for your time. I appreciate you. it.